This video is brought to you by Lightspeed, we're a Zulu, and by WX Weather. Hi, this is Mark Cook reporting from AOPA Expo 2008 for AvWeb and Kit Planes. I'm here with Harry DeLong, Glass Air Aviation, standing at the nose of a Glass Star sportsman in among a lot of spam cans here, Harry. You're right. like one of the few kit manufacturers here. What, what's your news for the show? Well, what, what we're trying to do with our two weeks to taxi program is, is uh, uh, bring a, a different option to the, to the normal person looking for a certified airplane. Uh, with our two weeks to taxi program, it doesn't take two or three or five years to build a kit plane anymore. Just two weeks in our factory in Arlington, Washington. So you're obviously trying to give the, you know, send that message to the, uh, to the guys who are, you know, born, not quite born and bred in spam cans, but not quite aware of the experimental market. Exactly. We want to, we want to broaden our horizons and, and show, show the general aviation market that, uh, you know, the, the time commitment and the quality uh, you can get with, with, with the two weeks of taxi sportsman. Do they have do they have good questions? Do they seem to know what the airplane is, or is it a big education process? Uh, it's a big education process, actually. There's uh, as much as we've tried to get the word out. There's uh, there's always somebody else who's uh, asking what is it, and uh, and that's why we're here. Of course, you know, get the word out. Now, of course, probably these guys aren't aware of it, but there have been some changes in the experimental rules potentially coming up. The FAA has announced some changes. Right. Haven't made them yet. Uh, one of the targets is commercial assistance. How is the two weeks to taxi program impacted by either the rules now or the rules as you think they might go? Well, up, up until very recently, we had no idea. Uh, the FAA just recently spent a week at, at our factory uh, watching, watching and participating in the, in the construction of a sportsman. And, and their conclusion was that with the, uh, with the commercial assistance that we provide and the lean manufacturing that we employ, uh, it, it, it complies completely with the, the spirit and the letter of the law, both in the, in the previous rules and the proposed rules. So, so uh, we're in, we're in, very, in a very good, good position. We, 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 we feel like uh, uh, we're the only ones that, that have the FAA has taken the time to go out and evaluate. So when you say two weeks to taxi, I think for a lot of people who don't understand the program, that just seems fantastic. How could you possibly get all that work done in, in you know, two, work, two weeks or ten working days? Uh, give me a capsule description of how that works. Well, it's, it's all about making your time as the customer, as the owner, as the builder efficient. Um, we, we lay out the parts for you. We have tools and jigs and fixtures that are all time saving. Um, if, you, if you stick your hand out, a tool is going to land in that hand. And you use that tool, you, you stick your hand out again, they'll take it out of your hand and put another tool in your hand. Uh, it's much like being a, a surgeon or a dentist, uh, just making your time efficient. Uh, instead of being, you know, 10% efficient, we make your time 100% efficient. And that's, you know, a, a 1,200-hour job becomes a, a 120-hour job. Right. So that's just a kind of a, it multiplies on from that. But I also understand that there's been some changes to the kit and some changes in the manufacturing on your side that have kind of fed it from the front. How yeah, I mean, uh, you know, uh, uh, you, were, you were the first customer to go through the, the two weeks of taxi program. Uh, and it's much, much different than when you went through it, as you know. Great. But, but, uh, <laughs> but every, every, every customer that goes through, uh, there's improvements that are made. So it's, it's a constant improvement of the process, um, you know, the tooling, Things fit better, uh, design. Uh, just every uh, there's always another tool being built. There's always a, a, a way to save a few, shave a few minutes to do things more efficiently, and, and we do that on every airplane. So no two airplanes have ever been built the same. Uh, the, the end product is the same, but the way we get to the end product uh, is, is constantly changing and, and improving. So for people unfamiliar with the program. Kind of, how does the pricing work out, and what are, kind of where do you start on pricing for this, this uh, airplane? A, a, uh, a VFR airplane, uh, glass panel, uh, uh, advanced flight systems, EFAS, uh, Garmin, uh, all Garmin radio. The VFR uh, pack is uh, starts at 162,000, and then there's uh, there's really basically four choices that people make: engine, propeller, avionics, and landing gear configuration. It's a bit cookie cutter uh, because we need to do that to make sure that we can help people get their airplanes built, you know, in two weeks every time, uh, but we feel like we're, we're capturing 99% of what people want. Great. Well, it looks good, and this airplane's beautiful, and when you're done with the floats, you send them my way, all right? I will. I appreciate it. We've been talking with Harry DeLong, Glass Air Aviation, at AOPA Expo 2008. I'm Mark Cook for AvWeb and Kid Planes.